हरि ओम मैसे सुरेश सुब्रमण्यम अनिवृद्ध उपासना केन्द्र खारगर नवी मुंबई टूडे आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर माई फादर्स एक्सपीरियंस विच इज वन ऑफ द मेनी मेडिकल मेराकल्स ऑफ बापू फ्रॉम नाइनटीन नाइनटी नाइन फ्रॉम नाइनटीन नाइन्टी थ्री माई फादर वॉज नॉट कीपिंग वेल माई फादर हैड मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक ही हैड कैंसर ऑफ द स्किन फॉर विच ही वॉज अंडर गोइंग रेडिएशन ट्रीटमेंट हिज हेमा गोविंद ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर ही हैड हाई बी पी ही वॉज पार्शली ब्लाइंड एंड ही हैड पार्शल पैरालिसिस नॉट इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी नाइन इट वॉज गोइंग ऑन ही वॉज And in 2000, it so happened that suddenly his creatinine has shot up to nine. And already I was spending around 25 to 30 thousand rupees per month uh, to increase his hemoglobin. Uh, those injections used to cost around 1500 rupees per injection. I used to give 10 injections a month. And once the creatinine was detected at nine, and our regular nephrologist who immediately suggested that uh, you have to go in for dialysis. And uh, the dialysis was three dialysis a week. About 12 dialysis a month, which was around, and I used to stay in Washi. So from Washi to go all the way to Nair Hospital and come back by by a cab was another 1500. In 2000, the dialysis was around 2500 per dialysis. So at the cost of 4000 per dialysis, 12 into 4, 48000 rupees per month plus my already running expenses of 25 to 30000. I am basically a travel agent by profession, and certainly was not generating so much money, which could take care of my office expenses, my house expenses, plus my father's medical. So I was totally shattered. And I had a good friend of mine uh, by the name of Ajit Sonamne, who is uh, a staunch uh, follower of Anil Da Babu. He works for Jet Airways. So he dropped into the office, and he found me very uh, depressed. He said, "What's the problem, Subhu?" So I told him the same case that uh, this is what has happened, and I don't know what to do. And the meanwhile, I had uh, already uh, checked with two more doctors, nephrologists, and all of them said the same thing: If you don't do dialysis in the next 15 to 20 days, we don't start your father's dialysis. I think your father won't survive for more than one month, and uh, his death will be very painful. So uh, this is what I told him. Then he immediately reminded me, "I suppose why are you worried? Just eight months back, you remember you had organized a tour for Bapu." So I didn't strike me. Actually, I uh, never called Bapu as Bapu. I always treated him as Doctor Anil the Joshi. So he said, "Hey, you have done Dada and Unka. Have you done? You forgot." I said, "Yeah, I remember." Then he said, "Tomorrow you get the file. I'll speak to Dada. You get your uh, uh, father's file there to Nami Clinic." So honestly speaking, uh, I told him, "Hey, Bapu is a rheumatologist, right? And uh, I'm talking about kidney-related problems." He said, "Are you sure? Why are you going into all this? After five years, I was blessed with a child. Okay, just on Bapu's suggestions. You went to three doctors. Three doctors told you that you have to do dialysis. So, what's the problem in trying the fourth doctor?" So I said, "Okay." I said, "He, what he taught me says." So, the next day we went. Uh, I took my father's files. He went to Suchit Dada, and then Suchit Dada saw the files and he said, "Evening, he'll get back." As committed evening, he got back to Ajit, and Ajit in in turn uh, told me that uh, uh, Bapu has called your parents tomorrow morning. So very next day, myself, my father, my mother, we all and Ajit, we all went. We could also meet Bapu. The moment we entered, Bapu just said, "Mr. Sundaram, I have gone through your reports. As per the research done on renal diseases, creatinine at nine definitely deserves dialysis." And the medication that your father is going through is absolutely perfect, and your father is under very good nephrologist. So I was again shocked. I said, "What new am I hearing?" I was just saying this in my mind. Then all the other three doctors said the same thing, and even Bapu was saying the same thing. But then I forgot one thing: that when Bapu said, "As per medical research and as per the uh, details for renal diseases, dialysis is a must," there was a pause when Bapu said, "But." But if you trust me, you don't need to do dialysis. So do you trust me, Mr. Sundaram? So my father said, Yes, of course I do. So there is nothing to worry. That's it. <clears throat> Just continue your medication, and you will not do dialysis till I tell you. Then he took it from my mother, and he said, You give me a promise that whatever happens to him, you will not start the dialysis without consulting me. So my my mother said yes, and then he said, Just continue your medicine. I will ask the compounder to give you an oil. He told my mother, "Apply this oil twice on your husband's body, and continue the same medication." 
that's it. Then we left and uh, every month he said you have to take a report and you have to let me know. First month, second month, third month, fourth month, my dad's creatinine from 9 was at 8.9, 8.8. Fifth month, sixth month it was around say 8.6, 8.7. But somewhere after six to seven months, it real, I realized, I said, okay, the creatinine is not coming down, but uh, all the top nephrologists who had suggested that if I don't do dialysis within 15 days, my father would be no more after one month. But today my father is it's almost seven months old and without going to the dialysis table, he is still fine. He is as he was, no complications. He had all those problems, but he was absolutely fine with that. Then slowly I started realizing, no, ah, Bapu is something, something different, something exceptional. And then I realized very clearly that I have to totally go by whatever he says. And then uh, another thing I forgot in between, after we met Bapu, after a week he immediately called me and he said, Subhu, for the next six to seven years you don't need to do dialysis. I did not tell this in front of your father because he may start counting from day one. Okay, so don't worry. And believe me, uh, every month you should take the reports and you should tell Dada and you should inform him. Slowly over a period of three, four years, the dial, the creatinine rate came down to about six, then five point eight, then finally it was at four point eight. And this went on for six years and seven months. On the seventh month of the sixth year, his creatinine shot to eleven. When it shot to eleven, I immediately informed Dada. Dada said within four hours. The first dialysis has to happen. Where are you and tell me, in 10 minutes you have to get back to me, otherwise I am arranging a dialysis here. That was his concern. So luckily, by Bapu's uh, blessings, we could arrange it wherever uh, in the hospital where he was, in, Laksh in uh, MGM hospital in uh, Washi. And after that, uh, after a week or 10 days, I went and met uh, Bapu again. And that was the time when Bapu said, uh, Subhu, how is the father? I said, Bapu, he is undergoing his dialysis and he is fine now. He said, okay. Last 18 months, uh, my son, tell your mother, ask your mother to be prepared. So I said, okay, Baba. And then uh, every every week we used to take him for dialysis three times a week, then 12 times a month. And 17 month, that was 2008, August 14th, at 16, my father passed away. But uh, again, Ambati to Baku, because of Baku's advice, correct advice, my father got eight and a half years of extra life. He enjoyed that life. I would have to sell my house, which I did not, because those days the dialysis was 40,000, 48,000 rupees per month. But when I started dialysis, I was only spending 10,000 per month. So this is how Bapu took care. Thirdly, my dialysis center was in Dirul. I used to stay in Khargar. My father used to travel only 15 minutes one way and 15 minutes another way. Instead of traveling two hours going to uh, uh, Tardev and again two hours coming back. So in this way, Bapu has taken care of everything, absolutely everything. And uh, everything went on normal. So at the end of the day, I would just like to say that it's because of his divine blessings, we and our family are absolutely blissful. Ariyam Shiram Ambad, Nath Sarat.